Hi, welcome back to EducateTube.com. My name is Sipsky, your host. Today, I'll be showing you how I convert my LED lantern from the carbon zinc 6 volt battery, this one here, into a lithium powered uh, zinc battery, like this one that I modified. Okay? Now, you probably look at these two and say, what is the difference? Well, the difference is in the battery. Okay? So here you have the regular zinc uh, or carbon zinc battery. And then here you have the modified, which uh, I built myself, the 3.7 volt lithium ion battery that I basically put into this uh, 6 volt container. Okay, so I'm going to show you today how I do it. And guess what? It's going to be amazing. Let's talk about it. All right, so here you have the carbon zinc battery. It's pretty heavy and it's only one time use and it's expensive. So this is why I decided to change it into the lithium battery. Now the cool thing about this is that it can be 3.7 volt or 7.4 volt. So if I set it to 7.4 volt, uh, basically putting the uh, 3.7 volt and connect it in series, then I get 7.4 volt and the lantern itself will be more brighter, okay? So I, I don't want to do that because I don't want to wear out the LED light. So I just set it to 3.7 volt and it's bright enough for me. Now, the reason why I am doing that is because, like I said, this is heavier. You know, you feel it. You can tell it's like two, three times heavier than the modified lithium ion 3.7 volt versus the 6 volt system. And this is only one time use, which is kind of waste, right? I mean, use it once and then you have to recycle this. In fact, what I end up doing is that I don't recycle it. I actually take the zinc carbon apart and take the carbon rod and the zinc plate and use it for my chemistry experiments. So I have a lot of use for this even after it's used up, okay? And you can sh uh, look at my other videos on how I do that. And there's a lot of raw material in here that you can use, like including manganese dioxide and the zinc plate and the carbon rod. So a lot of stuff is in here even after one time use. So it's not really a waste thing. However, most people would just, you know, recycle this, right? So with this here, we have a lithium uh, ion battery, 3.7 volt. So what I end up doing is that I actually cut the top apart and I'll show you the inside, okay? And what I did, okay, so once you cut it, so I just taped it with a masking tape, open it up and you can see what this is what it looks like. So on the positive and negative end, I have a long wire. This is called the uh, JST wire. Uh, it's like 22 gouge wire. Uh, the standard one, you can get it for around 20 cents uh, online. And I got a bunch of them. So I was able to connect the male and female together. As you can see here, here's the, the female and the male. Okay. On the female side, I made it standardized. The female is connected to the lithium battery. As you can see here, I have two lithium batteries connect in parallel. This is 3.7 volt lithium battery. This is, I think it's a, um, I can't see the uh, amperage on this. I think this is a um, 2000 milliamp hour uh, battery. So we have two of them, so it's 4000 milliamp hour at 3.7 volt. So you're looking at around, that's around that 3.7 volt to 4 volt and then you times by 4. So you have 16 watt hour. Okay, so 16 watt hour in this system. And by the way, um, it can be recharged. That's the cool part. Okay. So not only is this lighter, it can be recharged and this is actually uh, salvaged from my computer battery. So it's free. <laughs> this is four bucks, even for ever ready. Like if you look for Duracell and other brand, it might be, you know, as close as eight bucks. So <laughs> let me tell you, you save a lot of money and you save the environment. You know, you got this thing that you got, you salvaged from your computer. And then you're able to recharge it using the Sony uh, battery uh, charge system. Uh, I was able to do that. In fact, I um, end up using one of my battery bank. I took it apart and I then rewired so I can charge this, okay, 3.7 volt. You can check my other video on how I do that. But yeah, pretty amazing now I can use this. And apparently these um, battery can recharge at least 500 times. That's incredible. And let me show you how it works. So let's connect it, okay. So, in fact, I even standardized the connection positive with positive. Uh, I marked it in uh, dark marker to show that it's on the same side here like that. And then I put it in here, close it up, make sure it's snugly closed. There we go. 
use now for now I just use a tape masking tape to tape it there we go then I take my battery system okay this is the lantern LED lantern now it should be an LED lantern because uh, the regular flashlight using the halogens or using the filaments type they uh, use up a lot of energy and they have a short life expand right so you want to use LED light because they're uh, but I think they're, they're brighter and they last longer so I think I'll stick with LED light okay so what we want to do is we put this thing in like that they should fit snugly because it's a standard six volt battery right no problem with that there we go and uh, then we put in the head here okay like that and we slip in the cover like so okay and voila you see that there it is it's not bad like if you compare that to this is the uh the, the regular six volt carbon zinc battery and here is the led light this is a 3.7 volt lithium ion this is a six volt carbon zinc battery so not much of difference in the brightness this is much heavier carbon zinc battery the six volt this one is actually quite light in fact i think it's, if you compare it it's just like this is like half the weight of this and this is one time use this can be used uh, multiple times you recharge it again and again and again and again it's a 16 watt hour system so can you imagine how much long lasting battery would be after using it so many hours and then you recharge again and again and again and that's the cool part because it's a 3.7 volt you can take that out i forgot to mention this yeah so you can take a 3.7 volt uh, lithium ion battery and then you can hook up to your battery bank power and you can actually charge your phone so it has multiple use i never thought about that i just thought about it now yeah so it can actually be used if let's say you're not using your lantern and you want you know you're running out of battery for your phone you take one of the power bank system you can check my other video and then you hook up this battery in here to that battery bank system and you can charge your phone you know up to me 30 40 percent on a standard smartphone right or anything that uses the 3.7 volt for charging right any devices that is amazing now let me show you my other uh, lithium powered lantern that i put together as well as you can see this one is also lithium powered i actually modified it in fact um, you can charge it i took the wire outside so you can charge it directly here instead of like twisting like this one here that i did taking out the the head here uh, here i decided just to leave the wire out and then i can connect the wire that way and can charge it that way so there we go now by the way this one has been in my basement for at least six months right and look at that it's still working perfectly amazing okay that's one thing i like about uh, lithium ion as well compared to uh, lead acid batteries the lithium ions in terms of ability to hold charges it lasts longer okay here's another one i end up also modifying this one is a fluorescent light bulb it's a 7.4 volt system this one is pretty cool but look at this look see how bright it is it's super bright and in fact it's using lithium power as well now initially it was the battery it uses is the lead acid battery a heavier one but i decided to modify it and change it into a 7.4 volt lithium battery and look at that see there that's a lithium battery 7.4 volt and this connects directly to my sony battery system and i can recharge it you know a couple hundred times in fact you know according to the spec about 500 times so now i could charge it through this port as well but i'm not going to do that i'm going to just connect directly to my sony lithium battery by taking out the battery there okay because uh it's more compatible in terms of uh the voltage the 7.4 this is a 12 volt that it came with so i'm not going to charge through that i'm going to take that lithium battery out 7.4 and charge through my sony battery system and there we go look at that cool super bright this is a fluorescent light uh, lantern so yeah it works perfectly so now i have a system and it's light too by the way now I have a system where I convert all my lead acid battery, my uh, carbon zinc batteries, or even alkaline batteries and convert into the lithium power system. And this is rechargeable, is lighter, cheaper because you can access these lithium battery from computers and other components that you might be able to get for free. And yeah, and in the end you save money, you save the environment, and you got a very powerful system that you can carry around. Standardizing everything into lithium power system cool i'll talk to you soon and oh don't forget to subscribe educate